Gutenberg, also known as the WordPress block editor, keeps getting better and better each day. And this is awesome news for everyone, including other companies like us that build software on WordPress and somewhat rival Gutenberg. You see, the more powerful and intuitive that WordPress gets by default out of the box, the more users will continue to turn to WordPress to build their online businesses. Now, in this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about some of those basic features that I feel like Gutenberg still lacks and perhaps show you a better alternative that will get you more conversions and make your life a little bit easier. All right, let's dive in. Up until today, I still think that Gutenberg has one main problem that it struggles with and that in contrast, most page builders today get right. You see, when you create a new page in Gutenberg, the canvas that you're presented with doesn't feel like a real page from a website. When you create a new page in WordPress and go to edit it, um, all you see is the name of your page at the top and that's it. This almost feels like more of a word document or a Notion document than a page that you're about to build and publish for your site. And you know, while Gutenberg has some really cool block templates that you can start working from, starting a new page from Thrive Architect for example, is much more user intuitive. And let me back this up really quick with some examples. To begin with, Thrive Architect already comes with dozens upon dozens upon dozens of page templates that you can start working from really quickly and they're super easy to customize. But let's just say that you decide not to start off from a template, that you, you, know, you wanna start working from a completely blank page. You can still have that page inherit your themes properties. And what this means is that, you know, your blank page uh, at least it's gonna come with your website header, your website footer, and any other page properties that your page template is going to inherit from your theme. And this does make a massive difference because if you're not a designer and web design isn't your forte, at least this gives you a little bit of context about the painting that you're painting. With Gutenberg, like I said, you need to start from a blank canvas and as you put stuff on your page, you kind of have to preview it on a separate window to really get a grasp of what you're building. And, and yeah, it's just not the most efficient way of doing it. Now, Gutenberg has attempted to fix this by introducing a few different ways of visualizing the editor. If you go into full screen mode, this hides the WordPress toolbar. And if you go into distraction free mode, all you essentially see is your canvas. This is a nice way of working with, with Gutenberg. I kind of like the idea, but there's still something weird about seeing my page boxed in this way rather than seeing what the real result is going to look like. You know, again, going back to Thrive Architect, with Thrive Architect, as you build your pages, you get to see the immediate result of what they're going to look like in real time. I will say this though, I really do love the elements tree that Gutenberg comes with. Now you may be telling yourself, well, Tony, these are just small little tiny things that nobody really cares about all that much. Well, trust me, when you spend eight hours a day building and designing a WordPress, these little things do matter indeed. But I've got more. The user interface is just not great. It's not user intuitive. This is something that we're still battling with Gutenberg. And this is particularly scary for newer users. And I'll give you an example. I can quickly drop a pre-built header from a block that Gutenberg has to offer in store, but now what? Say that I want to change the background color for it. Where do I go? All I see are icons everywhere. Which one modifies the styling? Well, it took me five minutes on a Google search to figure it out. And that's, that's pretty bad. And well, the answer is that it's nowhere to be found in the top toolbar. And after clicking on each of the top right hand icons, you'll find this little icon to the right of the layout settings that lets you modify the color of your row. And at this point, again, you're probably telling yourself, Tony, you are absolutely overreacting. Once you know this, you're never gonna forget about it. There's a bit of a learning curve to Gutenberg, uh, no big deal. And I get that. In fact, there's a learning curve to all page builders out there, but there's no denying that the you know that page builders like um, Thrive Architect, especially and Seedprod, if you will, are much more user-friendly. The learning curve is not as steep and it's just much easier to get around the dashboard. But hey, maybe I'm just spoiled at this point because I've been exposed to the beauty of Thrive Architect for so long now. And look, when I planned out this video, I really did tell myself, okay, I really do wanna signal those basic features that Gutenberg still lacks and compare them to you know, what other page builders out there are, are uh, offering these days, taking Thrive Architect as our main reference point. But it wouldn't be fair for me not to point out the good things that Gutenberg has to offer as well. And you know, uh, I've said this already, I love their elements tree. 
I love the fact that, hey, it's the default thing that WordPress comes with and you can be sure that it's going to continue to get updated over time as well. That's a, that's a great valid point. And there's one more cool thing that I wanna mention which can easily turn into a double-edged sword now that I come to think about it. Uh, look, since Gutenberg is the default page builder for WordPress, most of the third-party plugins in the WordPress marketplace are going to be compatible with Gutenberg. And this is really cool, right? Because it opens up the door for your, well, for you to implement new features and capabilities on your site. However, and trust me when I say this, because I've seen this many times, this can turn into a complete and utter catastrophe of a build if you don't know what you're doing. There's a famous saying out there along the lines of to each their own and applied to WordPress, well, each developer minds its own business in a way, right? If you start installing tons of plugins that work great with Gutenberg, you may soon start realizing that they may not work all that well with each other. So you have to be careful to make sure that all of your tools are compatible, not just with Gutenberg, but with each other. Because if not, I mean, this could very well just break apart your site. And this is precisely why here at Thrive Themes, we built the one and only suite of plugins that you need to build a profitable, scalable online business on WordPress. We knew that this was a problem that WordPress users still face today. The huge broad offer of WordPress plugins is, is great, but it also comes at a cost and you need to be careful with what you're putting on your site. With Thrive Suite in contrast, you know that all of our tools are going to continue to get updated. Uh, they are going to work and talk to each other in a seamless way. I like to make the Apple analogy. You know how you can grab AirPods and they can instantly switch from your phone to your laptop. Or you know how, you know, if you're wearing an Apple watch and you walk up to your computer, it automatically identifies you and it locks you in. Well, something similar happens with Thrive Suite where all of our tools know exactly what you need and they work with each other to help you get the job done quickly and in a really efficient way. So to wrap it up, Gutenberg, there's a long way to go, but I'm happy and excited to see that the WordPress Foundation is putting more and more effort into making the default WordPress builder better and better each day. Good luck catching up with Thrive Architect. And yeah, it's been a pleasure. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Oh, and there are useful links if you want to learn more about Thrive Suite in the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.